Hello YouTube, I just wanted to do a quick uh, build breakdown of the build that I'm rocking in Trials of Osiris this weekend on Endless Veil. Vale. I'll just go over the uh, subclass really quick, rocking Void 3.0. Uh, I found Mobius Quiver has been the most effective so far because super that I can get like pretty consistently every game if it goes long and uh, yeah the new triple shot has just been really effective. As for the dodge, I'm in Rocket Gambler's dodge, because I think getting back my smoke bombs is super important, especially on Omni Oculus. I personally use Strafe Jump, but you, know, you can use whichever jump you prefer. I find Strafe Jump is just the best for getting me around the map quickly. I have Snare Bomb, which is uh, you know, the only melee option we have right now, but it's really interesting now, because they've changed the Snare Bomb so that it uh, not only grants invisibility, but it also pings the radar. So. I'll go over that more when I talk about my exotic choice. Rocking Axion Bolts to just kind of clean up low HP targets or to just push people out of cover. Super good grenade and you don't even have to charge it now, so that's For the Aspects, I'm rocking Trapper's Ambush, which uh, is kind of the new Shatter Dive Void choice. So it allows you to, if you have your Smoke Bomb Charge, do like the Shatter Dive animation. So you can play really aggressively and jump up high and get kills with it. And you can also kind of slam down, and it grants a ra very large radius of invisibility. So I think it's super powerful. Uh, and then the other one I have is Vanishing Step, just to give myself even more invisibility. Because uh, you can do some really cool things with the combination of Trapper's Ambush and Vanishing Step. Where you uh, give yourself the invisibility with the Smoke Bomb. And then before your invisibility runs out, you can dodge again to like extend that invisibility. So it's super powerful and just gives you a bunch of invisibility. Uh, for the Fragments of Choice... I've gone with Echo of Persistence, just to give myself a longer duration on all the different invisibilities I'm getting. Uh, Echo of Remnants, just to let my Axiom Bolts last longer and chase people longer. And then Echo of Dilation, which is super strong because it gives you plus 20 stats, which is absolutely nuts. And I've also really enjoyed the Enhanced Radar because it just really helps to keep track of your enemies. Uh, now for the weapon choice, I've been running Hawkmoon now. Uh, this is actually the Zer Hawkmoon that he's selling this weekend, so if you're in need of a really good Hawkmoon, go pick this one up. Uh, it's got Extended Barrel, Alloy Meg, Eye of the Storm, and Polymer Grip. So it's similar to another role Zer sold previously, but this one just has more handling, so it feels super crispy. And uh, it doesn't show it here, but the invisible stat is that it has 100 recoil direction, which you wouldn't think is super clutch, but I've been hitting crispy shots with this Hawkmoon. It's, it's beautiful. And uh, recently I was actually talking to some of my friends and, and they were asking why I switched from Eye of the Storm because the Hawkmoon that I used to run before was this Hawkmoon. I put 700 kills on it and I was loving it. And uh, this is the opening shot roll. And honestly, the, the thing that's really made me change it is that with a lot more invisibility and hunters running around and stuff, I'm getting into a lot of duels more. And so Eye of the Storm is just super clutch when you're, you know, in that 1v1 gunfight. Um, so yeah, that's really what's made me switch to Eye of the Storm from opening shot on Hawkmoon. Uh, for the shotgun of choice, running a found verdict. I think this is the best aggressive frame shotgun. Um, I got a really nice 4 out of 5 roll. I'd prefer opening shot, but I got one 2 punch. Um, surplus is super strong on this shotgun, because uh, with Omni Oculus, having two smoke bombs means that I'm pretty much going to have my smoke bomb, up, smoke bomb up the whole time. So just super strong. So yeah, it's just a great shotgun all around. Uh, for my heavy weapon of choice, just got a grenade launcher on. It's got proxy nades, impulse amplifier, chain reaction. Just I don't really pick up heavy, but if I ever do, it's good for just cleaning up some kills. Uh, and then I'll just give a quick breakdown of the armor and mods. On my helmet, just rocking hand cannon targeting, shotgun targeting, just to get that you know better ADS speed and target acquisition. And then I have powerful friends on for the plus 20 mobility. Super nice to have the dodges back. Pretty simple rundown of my arms. Just hand cannon loader, fastball, radiant white for some more strength. Chest piece I have taking charge just in case my teammates are generating orbs of power. I mean, these days they don't come up as much, but they still come up. Uh, on my boots, I'm rocking quick charge to give myself that really fast shotgun swap speed. And uh, hand cannon holster. Um, so I don't know if people are familiar, but hand cannon holster is actually really good in combination of Hawkmoon. Because you can, you know, put a couple of shots in with your Hawkmoon and get some crits. And then you can stow it and let the hand cannon holster reload it. And it'll actually keep your paracausal stacks with Hawkmoon. So 
super strong together. Uh, and then for my cloak, I'm just rocking uh, Recove mod and then a couple of utility kickstarts just to give me more dodges. So, the thing I've really been enjoying about uh, rocking Omni Oculus in particular uh, this season is the fact that the smoke bombs have been changed to now ping the radar as well as grant you invisibility. So you can do some super tricky plays where, you know, you invis your team and leave that smoke bomb there and then you can use that smoke bomb as bait. Or you can kind of sit on the smoke bomb and bait them and you can just like really manipulate the radar and throw your opponents off. And so it opens up a lot of avenues for aggressive play. And yeah, the damage this is also super clutch with it too. Like it's just a fantastic exotic on Void 3.0. So, yeah, I think that's just kind of a quick breakdown of my trials build. Um, hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys have great success this weekend trying to go flawless. First first weekend of trials in this new season. It's been super enjoyable so far, and with Veil is a great map. And, yeah, if you want to check out this build live, you can catch me at Twitch, and the link's in the description. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.